Let's get ready to rumble! Welcome back, Summoners. In today's comparison, we have Poor Professor going up against UGG. Which app is better for League of Legends? If you want to know more, stick around till the end of the video. As always, do that whole YouTube thing. If you would like to try Poor Professor, be sure to use my referral code in the description section as well as in the pinned comment. Go ahead and post your own referral code and say why everyone should use yours instead of mine. I will not moderate the comments with referral links, however I cannot speak for if YouTube will. Now let's get into this. This comparison is going to be a little bit different from my last couple. We are going to be comparing features, not comparing arbitrary categories that I decide. So the first feature we need to talk about is the profile page. On Poor Professor, it looks like this. At the top, we have my summoner name, icon, server, as well as some quick information about me. I'm basically a Vi one trick pony. When I get ahead, I carry and snowball, and when I get behind, I take fat L's. That's pretty accurate with the assessment, too. Below that, Poor Professor shows personal ratings. I wish the LP was a little bit bigger here, but here we are. Poor Professor also shows win rates as well as games played for each champion. You can filter by what type of game you are playing. Poor Professor also shows the same information based off of your role. Poor Professor shows you the match history that you can click into and see the post-game report for. You can filter it by champion queues, and you can filter by your friends list, which is pretty cool. Poor Professor also has some patterns based on the data that it picks up, based on win rates and how well you tend to do based on how other matches are going. You can click into it and see some more statistics, which you can see here, but I will save the deep dive for another video. Poor Professor also has a list of your friends as well as your win rates when playing with them. Pretty big flex, except I'm not friends with this last guy and have no idea how I played 5 games with him. Let's take a look at UGG's profile page. UGG's profile page looks like this. We have my name, icon, and beneath that we have rank as well as LP. But UGG has a graph displaying how my ranked journey is going. It's been rough. Seriously, I know this channel isn't about gameplay, but still. In the middle, we have match history that you can click on and see the post-game build and runes. This shows at what time your buys occurred and what you bought, which is pretty cool. And you can also see UGG's carry scoring system. If you want to see everything in full detail, you can click into that too, but we are going to talk about the post-game later. UGG also has your best champs, similar to how Poor Professor does it. And when I say similar, I mean they're basically the same thing. This should come at no surprise, both Poor Professor and UGG are Overwolf products, and therefore they use the same API. So it makes sense that both apps have the same information at times, especially when it comes to a player profile. So I would also expect more of the same and overlap in this regard. Speaking of overlap, let's check out the ratings and leaderboards. Both Poor Professor and UGG have a tab dedicated to showing who the best players in the world are. Now, I have to give credit to Poor Professor for having more filter options. Poor Professor you can filter by champions and region. Poor Professor also has your ranks overall and per region on the right side of the screen. I'm almost the top million in North America. I don't know how many people play this game, but I don't think that based on being in the top 69%... Nice. ...is very good. Filter it by Vi, and I'm like top 12%, so that's a little bit more comforting. UGG's leaderboard page is absolutely slapping when it comes to presentation. Look at this, number one gets their own row, two through five have their own row, and then below that are the rest of you peasants who aren't top five in the region. UGG cannot filter by all regions or by champion, but it looks really cool, and it also has the win rate, which is a step apart from Poor Professor. Poor Professor and UGG both have champions lists, although UGG has tier rankings while Poor Professor does not. However, don't be too down on Poor Professor because they got mad filters and you can absolutely figure out who is strong in the meta based on the win rate alone. UGG has those filters too, but UGG has tiers. When you click on a champion, it takes you to the champion page. This is where things that have to do with these lists get a little bit more informational. Poor Professor has a ton of good information about the champion that you clicked on. Without breaking everything down, there are runes, skill orders, build orders, patches, and counter picks. There is also a ton of information on the top players for that champion. UGG has runes, skill orders, build orders, matchups, and information on top players for that champion. Did you catch it? Did you catch it? 
UGG does not have patch notes for a specific champion on their champion page, or at all for that matter. Very similar champion pages overall, very similar formats. However, Poor Professor and UGG, there are subtle differences that we are noticing. Poor Professor has all of the patch notes in their own tab, so you can see all of it without scouring through the internet looking through a bunch of gaming blogs just to see the tiny differences they make to Master Yi's Ultimate. I do like the patch notes on Poor Professor. It's pretty nice to see, especially if you didn't know a patch was happening. You can search items real quick and look, see that Hole Breakers has some changes. UGG does not have any of this, just like UGG does not have a Looking for Gamers tab. Poor Professor does, so you can always find someone to do unranked with when you're sick of solo queuing for crappy ADCs or supports. Poor Professor also has a live game tab if you want to sit there and stroke at some challenger level gameplays that aren't necessarily on Twitch. Now that we have covered all of the tabs that each app has to offer, let's talk about what the game is like in each app. Poor Professor and UGG both have the abilities to pull in runes, build orders, and summoner spells automatically which you can see in the options sections. There are options to turn these features on and off, that way you don't accidentally misplace your flash. That definitely has never happened to me, ever guys, like no, not, not a chance, to, clearly, no, no, absolutely not. Poor Professor has a solid scouting report that you can see while your game loads in. This can help give you an impression on who is the deadliest in the game and who you will need to play around. I like this feature and I do believe that it can be helpful. A lot of people consider this aspect cheating as you have an unfair advantage. Morality aside, it is here so I'm covering it. UGG has the same concept for a scouting report. It does seem to be a little less detailed with the red and green comments, but the concept is still the same. I do like Poor Professor making it bigger than UGG so it is easier to read and less to decipher. But I shouldn't fault it too hard as all of the same information is here. During the game, Poor Professor has the overlay in the top right corner of the screen. It has gold per minute, KP, CS per minute, vision, and level. This is all in comparison versus a platinum player, so it lights up green if that's great news, and if it lights up red, well, not so great news. Poor Professor also has jungle overlay timers, as you can see in the bottom right corner of the screen. UGG has in-game settings that you can access on the little box next to the minimap. You can choose to have your in-game overlays up when you hit tab, hidden, or always visible. I love the flexibility of this. I wish other apps had these options in a similar manner. UGG has stats options, build options, skill order options, enemy cooldown options, and jungle timers. This is also a lot more than other apps, and I absolutely love it. In-game overlays are my absolute favorite thing about third-party apps. I love UGG's options for how to use these overlays, and when you see them, I love UGG's options for what types of overlays you want or need. All around, I am a huge fan of this type of versatility. Now let's talk about the post game. If you are a subscriber to this channel or have seen any of my other videos about Poor Professor, you know that Poor Professor's post game breakdown with visual aids like graphs is unparalleled. Poor Professor has a ton of post game information to offer. I break it down in other videos and I do not want to cram all of this information down your throat, so let's move on to UGG's. UGG's post game report is pretty nice. It has the standard post game that every app has. It also has the damage breakdown in bold charts on the left. UGG also has your carry score on the right. The middle of it has three graphs that you can tab between. It compares you to your laner. While I do like this information, I wish that there was a way that I could switch to see other comparisons to other players as well as team versus team in terms of gold. Poor Professor has that option, but Poor Professor has a chart for everything, so it's hard to make a fair judgment when it comes to charts. Below that, it has all of your selected runes and skill orders for when each skill was leveled up. Underneath that, it is the time for each of your backs and the items you purchased at those times. I love this. I love seeing an item break down in the times that it happened. You'll notice things like at 16 minutes, I complete Maw and my gold versus Yasuo spikes up. Clearly, I hit a power spike at 16 minutes, which is a big deal if you're working on what items you should build for power spikes. Overall, both of these apps have a ton to offer and I really enjoy using both of them. Granted, for this video, I use both of them at the same time. 
I would love to hear from you. What app do you think is best based on what I've said? I prefer Porofessor, but UGG does have a lot of good information, and I would easily rank it in an A tier for everything that it has to offer. Don't forget to post your own Porofessor referral code in the comments below, and I will see you on the next one.